I've got Moose out and he's getting ready to head home tomorrow. So I want to put a little bit on tape, show you where he finished up at. You know, the nicest thing is, is I tell people, puppies learn easily, they learn quickly, and then they keep it as long as you keep doing it. Do that thing over and over again. You don't want him jumping, make him sit. Don't reach down from the front, that sort of thing. All of that makes a big difference when it comes to puppies. Um, you know, so you just have to kind of keep those rules in mind and it'll do just fine. So we'll put him through his paces and show you what he's learned. Good boy. Okay. Good. Sit. Let's start off right. Moose. Sit. Good. All right, let's go. Good. Told you we were going to get that walking thing under control, and we did. We've done really good with it. We had a nice couple of days that we got out and worked a couple of times a day. Sit. Good. Stay. No. Oh, you messed that up completely, and I didn't get a correction in. That was me. You've been doing so good with it. Sit. Hey. Good. Stay. Good stay. That's good. Tug and he should tug back. Now puppies get distracted easily, but they should be able to sit and stay for up to a minute. Good. And when you don't want a dog to jump on you, don't release him from the front. He's doing really well with that, so go all the way back to his side and then tell him what a good boy he is. Okay is his release command and he can get up. Good job, good job. Okay, let's go. Nope, easy, hey. Hey, what are you doing? Quit, sit. All right, let's go. Come on, good. <laughs> Sometimes it just takes to get him on the right foot. Come on, hurry up. Notice that I'm not walking small. I'm walking big. Taking off. Good. Let's go. Good job. Right turns, left turns. He's following along nicely. Good. Moose. Stay. All the way out to the end of the leash. Talking. Add a little movement. Good job. And then, okay, he can get up. So when I tell people not to greet puppies from the front, what I mean, come here, Moose, come. Don't reach down like this because he's gonna develop that follow your hand and come straight up. So as soon as you stop petting him, he's gonna come up like this. Go in from the side and reach down and pet, no. Then when he starts getting footsie or he starts moving, you just pick your hand up and tell him no, no, sit. Good. And he learns to keep his feet on the ground when you're petting him. No. Uh -uh. Good. Good boy. Good. Okay, let's go. As I said, lots of dog walking and turns. You want dogs to pay attention, you do a lot of turns. That way, nope. You're more exciting. I wasn't more exciting than that rock. I know, I wasn't, was I? When we stop, he should sit. Good. <laughs> Normally you do it automatically. That was a little weird. Hey. Uh -uh. Come on. Sit. Go ahead. I don't know why you're not doing sits today. Ready? Are you ready? Get it. Good boy. Moose, come. Sit. Good. 
Ready? Get it. Good. Moose, come. Good. Ready? Get it. Moose, come. Ready? No. Get it. Good. Moose, come. See where I'm, he's sitting? I'm not letting him come all the way in and jump. I'm just trying to get his attention on the tree. He sometimes misses them. Get it. Come. Hurry. Sit. Good job. Look at you. How do you do off leash, huh? Hey. Come on. Good. Ah, ah. Good. Good boy. Hey. Good touch. Place. Ah. All the way. All the way. Place. Good. He's actually kept a pet caught in his run for the entire two weeks. Hasn't chewed it up or anything like that. Done very well with it. So when you want him to come in the house and maybe be calm, watch a movie with you, do something like that, get a bed and make him understand that that's where he has to go. Um, it works well in big open homes as well. So if you don't want him in the kitchen or underfoot while you're eating, you can move those beds out of those rooms to the edge and he has to go lay down. Okay, get it. Moose. Place. Whoops. Good boy. Look at you, huh? Good. Hey. Okay. Good. Ready? Place. Ah, oh, cheater, cheater, pumpkin eater here. Try that again. There you go. Good boy. Ready? Okay, get it. Get it. He missed it completely. Place. Good. Okay. Last one. Place. Awesome. Good job. So that's where he's at at the end of two weeks. Um, he's doing really well, you know. Um, from here, it's about following it up. Making sure that you use the rules every day. If you're having any problems, we can always make a scheduled class. We'll have group classes come with summertime when it warms up a little bit. But I think he's done a really good job. You know, he would benefit a lot from getting around other dogs and other people. So I would highly encourage once the weather warms up and you're ready to get out and really work him every day to bring him to classes on Saturday so he can have some exposure to other people and other dogs. But overall, he's done really well. He soaks this up. He does a very nice job. So if there's something you don't like, we just need to figure out exactly where you need to put the correction at and I think he'll do just fine. So we're going to put him up, get him all groomed up, and we'll see how he does when you get here.